Hello. So I have another magazine quick video. I hope it's quick. All I did was take my magazines and find pages. And I also have a video out on making rolled up paper and stuff. And so I had a bunch of those strips already cut. And so that's what I'm using to punch. I use the 5 8 inch punch. And then I'm not sure what this one is. I didn't see it written anywhere. But two of these is almost this. So this must be a 10 8 punch. Yeah, I know, 10 8 That's an inch and a quarter. But I just thought I'd be silly there. So... My intentions were to cut all these, to punch these out. Now, if you don't have the punches, any punch, any size of punch, this would be really cool in hexagons. And, um, you know, you can always draw your lines, cut them out with scissors, use a paper cutter. I went with the punch because I thought it might be easier for me. So what I've got here is a bunch of little punched out squares in 5 8 and 10 8 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them to this cover and make a background. So what I did is this is a journal I had started. I did do something on the cover, didn't like it, so we changed it. And uh, I painted it black. I couldn't find my regular black paint. So this was a metallic um, black paint. It works. I'm going to use matte medium. You could use Elmer's glue. You could use glue stick. You could use Mod Podge. Me and Mod Podge aren't friends. And so I was using the matte medium because again, I think it's going to be a little faster. With that being said, I already played around and uh, this is my top, but I already know how many squares. I did the one and a quarters and the five eighths thinking that I could use them. To, well, the five eighths thinking I could use them together. Uh, it didn't quite go the way I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a generous amount of, of this. And I'm going to have to work fast so it doesn't dry. This one didn't punch real straight, so I'm going to straighten that up a little bit. And I'm just going to put these down. I'm coming a little ways away because I've already, like I said, I've auditioned how I wanted these to be. And I'm going to come down here. And I did put too much, or er, wait too long. But that's okay. I'm not really planning colors. I just know that these are the ones that are going to work. These are the ones that I chose. Let's see, it didn't quite make it. So I have some of the little ones that are going to get to stick in there and be their filler. And most of these came out of a scrapbook magazine. So... There is, I did, I did fussy punch. So now we're going to go ahead and put a coat on that. And we're going to start down the next row. I think this would be amazing in a junk journal, as a cover, um, as a background. And I see a couple bubbles, so I'm just going to use my cheap tools, my fingers. Okay, I'm not going to go so far ahead with the glue because it's, for some reason, it's drying really fast. I think that I'm going to pick up my two little ones now. 
I just put some matte medium on my fingers and it works perfect. Don't want to put that one in there yet because it's real similar to that one. So let's put this one in. And that's all I do. I just look and see what, you know, that's still kind of the same colors together, but Wow, I didn't pick a white one. I can't picture me doing that, but maybe I did. And it's not perfect, you know, I, but it's, it's just cool. Okay, we're going to start back up with, and you know, we don't want that one or that one. Let's go this one. I'm going to pick a different one because that other one is the same as that one. Now you could do this where they were touching and make the whole thing solid. I painted this black to look like grout and I'm okay with the spaces because honestly I think if we went um, right up to each other I, I would get I would get pickier and now I'm just going to do a row of these littler ones that little blue one doesn't hardly show up and now it's crooked Actually, they're all going on crooked, so let's just, let's just see if we like crooked. I don't want that dark blue one. I'll use this side. I kind of like that. It's kind of like its own little border. And it makes it so much easier. down just a bit so we can get one more in. Here we go. So look, in no time flat, granted you did not have to watch me punch all those out, but we all know how to use a punch. We all know how to use a straight edge. So I think that's going to be, you know, pretty self-explanatory. And I have all these left. I could do the back if I wanted, or I can use them in the other, other pages. Something that might be kind of fun, because we've already punched them, is to take, I'll go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to take, of course, you know, I picked the orange ones. And let's not waste another orange one. Let's put this one on there. I'm going to glue these two together just for stability because some of these magazines are thin. And when you are using your punches, you need to watch where you put your punches on the thinner papers because they tend to want to tear. So I'm going to move this. Let's see if we can get this to where 
it doesn't stick to anything. So I did this I had, for thickness. I'm going to fold it in half. And look, I can make tags, tabs. They're going to stick out and match my cover. Oh, wait, you can't hardly see that because I moved my camera. See, isn't that fun? A whole nother use for the same things. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you follow us along on the Defy How To Tour. And I will see you all again next month with a new topic.